Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a video that's slightly different. I'm back in Montesilvano, Italy, my parents' home, and I want to set up a Bitcoin node. The question is why a Bitcoin node? And the answer is because every node helps contribute securing the network. More nodes means, means more decentralization, and more decentralization means a healthier network. And the other question that you may ask is, can I make money out of it? And the answer is no, the node is only used to keep more copies of the blockchain around the world. You can make money by mining Bitcoin, but this is another topic. So let's start the process. We're going to go through all the steps from the beginning until the node is fully set up. What do you need to set up a node? The hardware I'm going to use is a basic Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, you need a SD card that is minimum 16 gigabytes. This is 16, I have some 32 around, we're gonna flash this one. And then you need an hard drive, I have this old uh, one terabyte hard drive, not solid state, but it's gonna, it's gonna do the job. And then, yeah, just the power supply, nothing too fancy. And we're gonna use Umbrella as a software. So let's start flashing the, um, the SD card and let's go through all the process. Start now. The first thing you need to do is just to go to getumbre.com. It's the easiest, uh, for now, best software to run a node for newbies, for people who don't want to use the, the command line to install it. And then you have all the information you need. But if you go down, you have the install Umbre on Raspberry Pi 4, all that you need. And then if you go to how to install, you get the first important steps. The most important is to download the Umbrel OS. I've already done it, so it's already in my download folder. And then download Balena Etcher. This is the software that you need to flash your uh, USB stick drive. I downloaded that as well, so let's open it and see how to flash the drive. So I opened the Balena Etcher software, and what we need to do is just Get the file of Umbrel that we downloaded and drag and drop here. Second thing to do, select target. Select target means selecting the, the micro SD that we plugged in. You can see my generic 16 gigabytes. Select it and flash. Now the process will start. It's asking me for my password. The process is starting, it will decompress and flash the uh, the SD drive. Once this is done, I'm gonna stop the video now, once this is done we just need to get the flash drive and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Super easy, you don't have to do anything more, the Raspberry Pi is gonna be auto configure. we're gonna check it out together. Okay, so this is gonna be our setup, the Raspberry Pi, the hard drive, this is another Pi that's going to Lisbon for next time and this is the SD card that we're gonna plug into the Pi. And this is my setup. I just left it in a drawer with the cables, Ethernet cable, the hard drive that is underneath, and the charger that goes to the wall. I just wanted to leave it here so I can easily close it and nobody notices, it's just there undisturbed, there is some air because there are some holes in the back where the cable goes. So the only thing I need to do now is to power on and that's all we need to do. Then back to the computer. And back to the computer we are. The first thing to do is to find the IP address of your Umbrel. In my case, I have the Vodafone router that it's easy. I can just go to their router page and find the Umbrel uh, IP address that it's this one you can see here. So I just need to copy and paste this into the URL. Once you do it, you welcome to Umbrel. You don't have to do anything on the hard drive side. Umbrel will take care of it, will take care of the formatting and initializing everything. And here is just your basic process where you start, you put your name. I'm gonna put the location of this node, Montesilvano and then your password. This is the password you use to access Umbrel every time from local or from remote. 
This is one of the most important steps. You need to write down the 24 sec secure words that they are used to recover your Lightning Network wallet in case you're gonna use the Lightning Network wallet. I'm not gonna show this face, but basically you need to do next, next, next and write down in a secure place all the words. I wrote down the secure word and now the configuration is continuing. Remember to write this down, they are very important. And then you get the URL to access your node from the Tor network. So from everywhere in the world, you just need the Tor browser and you access it. Save this as well for future reference. So one last thing, but it's very important. Umbrel is still in beta. It's not secure. You can uh, check out their, um, their GitHub for if there is any bug or any update. But so far, a lot of people are using it it seems to be very stable, so for now I trust Umbrel, but this is my judgment. That's it. You finish the configuration, there are some confetti going down, and you can go to the dashboard and see and check out the sync process where it's going, it's going through. You can see they just started, Bitcoin Core 0% synchronized, the traffic is through Tor. So once you waited a few minutes, you will see that the sync will start. Here it's like 0.01%. It's gonna take a while, especially on Raspberry Pi. Last time I did a node, it took two to three weeks. So what can I say? Just be patient. Eventually it will get there. The node is so silent, you cannot even hear it. So that's basically it. It was super easy, it took me 20 minutes including the filming, so what I can tell you, run Bitcoin, it's good for the network, it's good for the decentralization and follow me for more crypto content and I'm gonna set up an even cooler node when I will be back in Lisbon, so more content incoming, until next time.